question a seamless spherical shell is of 8 meter internal diameter and 4 mm thickness full stop it is filled with fluid under pressure until its volume increases by 50 10 raised to 3 mm cube full stop determine the fluid pressure now this is the question which we have in which they are asking us to get how much will be the fluid pressure inside the spherical vessel so based on this question i will be writing the data first given data in that first mention the type here it is thin spherical shells it is given in this question a seamless spherical shell is of 8 meter internal diameter and 4 mm thickness so you can compare the diameter with thickness diameter is 8 meter that is 8000 mm and thickness is just 4 mm so you can see here the spherical shell next it is filled with fluid under pressure and its volume increases by 50 10 raised to 3 mm cube so this is the change in volume question is determine the fluid pressure so we have to find out how much will be the fluid pressure as usual we have to draw the spherical shell when it would be breaking into two halves So here we have a spherical shell and it is filled with pressurized fluid. Now here we have to find out what is the value of internal pressure of this fluid. I will say that in the solution since change in volume is given first I will say that let V is equal to original volume of spherical shell in mm cube so therefore we we know that the formula for calculating the volume of spherical shell it is 4 upon 3 pi r cube so therefore we can say that v is equal to 4 upon 3 pi radius is 8000 mm so from this we will be getting the value of original volume i have my answer as 268 into 10 raised to 9 mm cube so here i have the original volume and this is my change in volume so after this i will say that therefore volumetric strain is given by it is e suffix v is equal to change in volume upon original volume so therefore volumetric strain is equal to change in volume it is given in the question 50 into 10 raised to 3 original volume we have just now calculated 268 into 10 raised to 9 so from this volumetric strain value is i have my answer as 186.5 into 10 raised to minus 9 i will keep this as my equation number one now after this see the concept which i will be using here we have to calculate internal pressure of pressurized fluid for that i have volumetric strain now i would be getting one more volumetric strain by using the concept of circumferential strain so i'll say that now since circumferential strain is given by or you can say hoop strain because both are same 
the formula is i can write this as it is hope stress upon young's modulus into the bracket 1 minus mu but i'll keep this as my second equation and go for hope stress after this i'll say that also hope stress is given by it is pd upon 40 so therefore hoop stress is equal to p into diameter is given to me that diameter is 8000 mm so p into 8000 divided by 4 into thickness is 4 mm so from this i will be getting hoop stress in terms of p that is internal pressure and the value is 500 now i will put this value in equation number 2 here i will say that put hoop stress is equal to 500 p in equation 2 therefore hoop strain is equal to 500 p upon capital e into 1 minus mu that is in equation 2 i have put the value of hoop stress 500 p now this is the hoop stress after this i can say that therefore volumetric strain which is e suffix v is equal to thrice of hoop strain so this becomes it is equal to three times of hoop strain which i have here that is 500 p 1 minus mu is given in the question as 0 0.3 and young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 so here if I calculate all the terms I will be left with volumetric strain and P so I get the relation as therefore volumetric strain is equal to 350 divided by Young's modulus into P now after this I will say that keeping this as my equation 3 equating 1 and 3 we get in equation 1 we were having volumetric strain as 186.5 10 raised to minus 9. In equation 3, we are having 350 upon capital E, which is 2 into 10 raised to 5 multiplied by P. Therefore, P is equal to 186.5 into 10 raised to minus 9 multiplied by 2 10 raised to 5 divided by 350. So therefore, my answer of internal pressure is 35.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 Newton per mm square. And this is what was asked in the question. And with this, we complete the question.